Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I am a Taurus Sun and Venus, and we're going to get a mini message from our spirit guides. So do me a favor, and don't forget to like, share, and comment. That lets me know you're enjoying these. And also, if you have not subscribed, you should, because for every thousand subscribers that we get on the channel, I give away a free personal reading of your choice. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, my loves, let's see what the Spirit Guides want us to know for today. Spirit Guides for Taurus, what is the message, please? Spirit Guides for Taurus, what is the message? Show us clearly, what is the message? Ooh, all right. That just flew right out. So let's see what we have. I'm trying to set the deck down without it falling over. All right, my loves. So we have tree rooted. Find harmony by planting your roots deep within the earth. So what this feels like to me very much. First of all, we're talking about the earth. We're Taurus. We are earth sign. We have to be grounded. Um, so I would tell you if you are not grounding yourself in some way, shape, or form, you need to, okay? So whether that's putting bare feet on the ground, putting your hand on a tree, right? Keep that energy grounded. That is our main source of energy is how I want to put that. But also I feel like the spirit guides are kind of going towards that root chakra too, right? That root chakra is really important. It is our stability, our security, our money, um, the things that make us feel safe. So... I would tell you if you are, we have a tendency to do this when we're working with the chakras and we're opening them up, is that we have a tendency to forget about or ignore a little bit the bottom three chakras, which are really important. Those are the earthly chakras. We tend to go more towards the crown and third eye, right? But it's really, really important that we keep that root chakra moving, okay, and clear and unblocked. So whatever you need to do that, I feel like the spirit guides are saying you're not doing enough of it. Now, I will say this. If you book a 30-minute distance Reiki session with me, that's what we work on with those. We work on the chakras. If you feel like you're not feeling safe, secure, financially secure in this 3D realm, you may want to book one of those readings with me. And if you choose to do so, just by your name, when you put your name in, put dash root chakra. So I know that's what we're working with. And I do that for people all over the world. Right? I do Reiki energy healing. So some of you are just not feeling as safe and secure as you would like to, and that's causing more fear, which is causing more lack. Okay? So let's see what else we have here. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Show me clearly. Spirit guide, show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Show me clearly. All right, we've got two. So this first one here, we're going to start with this one, is balance, chakra balance, right? <laughs> and that's kind of what we're talking about. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit. It is important. It, it, this is just confirmation of what I was saying. Sometimes we're way too much in the spiritual and not enough in the earthly and vice versa. So we want to keep that balance. And then the other one is love, which is beautiful. Love is a verb, so make it your most treasured action. This is about loving yourself. This is about trusting in the universe. This is about taking care of you, whether that's the Reiki that we're talking about, uh, getting grounded, taking a bath, whatever works for you, right? Or trying new things to keep that balance. So I do feel like the spirit guides are saying you're a little out of balance right now, and you need to correct it in the way that works for you. So with that being said, love, light, and blessings to you until next time.